Hello there. Thanks for joining me tonight. Tonight we're playing Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. It's my personal favorite Crash Bandicoot. It is... Friggin... Well, it's not... It's not hot outside, but it's like... You know, you know, the my apartment, my building, just retains heat, right? So, it's like, that's good, because, I mean, it means it's not, like, f freezing in here, but, it's, you know, September is, like, that time, like, it's starting to, like, get in between, like, the end of summer and, like, the starting of fall. And, you know, it's cooling down out there. I mean, it's still... It's still kind of, like, prime time for, like, t-shirt short weather a little bit, but... Also, just kind of... We're just kind of, like, getting back into jacket weather, right? It's like... It's just weird. It's like as, like as, as the weather starts getting colder, at least here in Canada, it's like my body has to get used to it again. And you know, it's like it sounds crazy, but yeah, I, yeah, I prefer the like cold weather a little bit more. I mean, I do like seeing like all the trees and shit and all the. Fall in the fall time, like all different, different colors, it just looks nice. It's like nice, but you know, that's enough talk about that. We're here to see s some bandicoots jumping around and breaking boxes and eating non-existent fruit. So I also apologize for this. Like I haven't. I don't have this quite set up the way I want to. There's a little sound from it. You probably already know what it is just by like that one bite. But yeah, it's like for like classic games, I want to start off like with the Mario 64 streams and like the previous Crash 1 stream. You know, I want to start off like with you know, cl with classic games, we should also be reminded of their classic commercials, like th like this famous one. Wow, Let me show like the tense. first bit of it. I just flew in from the new ruins level, and boy, are my arms tired! An Elvis impression. Wow, funny stuff, dog. Did you see that? It's the weirdest Hi, thing. I'm Crash. Crash. I think everyone knows this one. It's the like the, the wonder from down under, like the Crash like is actually bucket. talking. He's like moving so weirdly because I guess mocap in 1990. When did Crash 2 come out? 1998. It's like not whatever. Not you know late 90s mocap. It's like the same shit with Sonic Adventure 2. It's like the mo motion capture is... It's... It's just weird, you man. You may remember me from my last adventure where I just, oh, I don't know, saved the world. You're welcome. And yeah, th yeah, thanks, Crash. It's like, you know, we all helped you do that. Uh, what, there's, like, there's like one point in the commercial or in this ad. Check out this cool new move. No, like, the like the one thing they advertise, of course, there's, like, the jetpack level and shit. At, like, one point... Yeah, he's just standing now here in the you. sewer. You know what I told him? Why don't you take a 12-step program off a 10-step pier? <laughs> yeah, that's this time, yeah. Okay, that's, that's a little weird. Anyway, there was, like, one point like, where there, he's, like, talking about, like, the technical side of the game it's like 
yo, mate, we got, we got wading water. It's like, we'll see. We'll get to the sewer level in time. Let me actually switch to this screen here. All right. So, my PS2 is all ready. Let's jump into it. Crash Bandicoot 2. For the PlayStation 1. See, I don't know if this will... It's like, I won't be, need I won't be needing this, of course. Uh. Need to plug my headphones into the TV so I can actually hear the game. It all seems up to speed. So, that thing I probably won't need. volume just a tad bit. Alright, so obviously we're going to start a new game here. So I would, always, I would always play this, and I would always play Warped, and also for some reason the Warped demo, because I think it had like a nighttime Coco level on it that I could never get to in the real game. Exactly one year. There's some weird, like, something weird on, like, the very end I'm seeing. It's also showing up on the capture. I don't know if that'll be annoying or not. You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface. I always loved Clancy Brown's Cortex voice. Crash? Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. It's a missed opportunity to be like, Crash, my computer crashed. Alright. I have to push, I have to push in, like, the analog button for some reason. So, what's this level? You may ask, oh, it's just the intro level. There's really nothing all that special about it. Co Coco just does nothing but just look around and stare at you. Like, then the music starts. Oh, there's actually, there's actually a trigger point for it? Wow. It's like, did you come come back? Did you get my back? No. But I'll glad I'll gladly like. Can what if? Wait a sec. This like brand new to me. What the fuck? It's like could you could you imagine that happening in real life? That'd be that'd be scary. Also notice like my mic is peaking a bit, so I probably I I mean I guess it's at a good level then. It means you can hear me better. So I, pro I probably shouldn't be like too loud with it. So otherwise it's like gonna peak. I'm so I'm sorry, I'm just like totally enamored by this. Like, cue, cue the theme music. Of course it's, like, also weird on, like, weird old place, PlayStation 1, uh, nice stutter there, Jordan. It's weird on, like, old PS1 graphics, but, uh, you can see this guy right here. It's like, no, normally I'm just, like, running by it and I never notice it, but it's like, yeah, it's like, cool-ass... Tiki face. Like, 
I don't know what I'm collecting for here. Maybe, maybe just get a good head start. Since I decided to show the intro off. It's like the intro is like totally pointless for collecting things otherwise. I'll take this moment here to check the volume. But I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystal's crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Alright. Let me actually, like, go ahead and make a safe slot here. I'll call it... I'll just put, like, my name. Doesn't have to be that complicated. Okay. So, we, with Crash 2, we get introduced to the warp room, of course, so you can pick all your levels. It's like standard, standard Crash stuff, like, from this point onwards, like, no more Donkey Kong Country-style world map. It, it's like, fr like, from that game, the influence was definitely there. It's like, yeah, Cra Crash has got to, like, identify beyond that now. I, and I want to show this off too. So when you exit the level, it's like this funny funny thing they put in, and I'm glad they kept it for the remake too. It's like, Cortex will talk to you again, and it's basically, you do this three times, like, you suck at video games, here's what you do. Like I know, I know I beat you up that one time, but uh, see, it's like seemed a little, seemed a little aggressive there. You know, I don't know if I want to start collecting these things unless you change your attitude about it. I need, I need further instructions, Doctor. Doctor Cortex, what do I do? Doctor, tell me. Like I already know what to do. I beat this game, so like, you know. All right, you know, I I know exactly what I'm doing now. But just to be sure, just give just give me like a little more detail. Can it's like because I think I think you're being very demanding about it. I think you're being very rude. I just want to know what to do. I always love that, and like no no one like bothers to show it off. I guess, unless you sucked that much, it's like you wouldn't know about it otherwise, or if you just don't know what like what what you're doing as as a kid. I guess. It's like I just I think it's pretty funny. Fun, fun little Easter egg or whatever you want to call it. I don't remember if in the. It's like this. It's like a weird level. It's like the only. Only level with like a. Unique weather condition like this. It's like it's just raining here.
like these little bonus areas. It's like for 2D sections. Like I know that I've got analog control now, but still it's just that like crash one paranoia carrying over, I guess. It's like for, for the 2D sections, I just trust the D-pad a little more. Robot vultures. It's like, I guess, I guess as they learned more and more about the PS1, PSX, whatever you want to call it. It's like they're able to, like, shove so much more detail into this. I don't know, it's... I know you can probably just, like, do a little contrast boost. Slide over the ostriches! There. It's like, that's not, I was watching him in particular. Because otherwise, he probably would have buried his head. See, like, if you if you just don't know what to do in a situation, you just gotta treat, treat it the way an ostrich does. You know, just bury your head somewhere, and the problem goes away. We call, we call it the ostrich situation. <laughs> yeah, like, but no, seriously, don't don't actually do that. It's like no matter no matter how uncomfortable you might be in some particular situations. It's like I understand completely, but it's like sometimes just gotta face a problem head on. B O N U S. I'm pretty sure this is how I figured out how to spell bonus when I was a kid. It's like, you know, I'm I'm gre I'm a little greedy, so it's like collecting like the bunches of fruits. If you push the crouch button, you can just dunk your head in, so... You know, like... Reasons I love this so much better than Crash 1, you got, like, the analog movement, you got, uh... Got the slide, you got, like, the higher jumps... And it just... it just... It just feels perfect. It's like, the, the way I would, like control a character in a 3D platformer, like, if I was, like, making it. We'll just fall down in the first pit. I need to get some use out of this. It's like, normally I would need him to jump up to get that. Alright, so, like, fall down there, there's moles, right? Uh, if you're good enough like I am. I almost wasn't. First crystal, and we need those to progress the game. Oh shit. Oh, you can you can just hop out like that too. You know, it's like so, sometimes even I mess up at like the simplest task. That's okay, you know. We all have our off times. First crystal, first gem. Do the dance. It's like this this crash dance that he's doing was like I think that was like an ad advertisement thing they did in like the Japanese commercials. Yes, of course. Oh, yeah, so, sorry, Coco. Oh, wait, no. 
It's gonna be like, Coco, I didn't find the battery, but I did find something even better. I'm, I'm like... It's like before phones, though, right? It's like, no, he wouldn't be able to tell her, but then they, like, give her a phone in the remake and, like, make her all... They, they basically just bring... Coco up to date with the key with the kids. So you see her using the phone and using her little computer and all that. Oops, depth perception kind of sucked right there on my part. So now you just run through all the levels. Or at least, or just this one actually. No, this, this one has, is just like the weirdest. Like, getting the, getting the blue gem here. Color gem, rainbow gem, whatever. So you basically just run through the level now. It's like the only time you do it. Breaking no boxes in order to get the blue gem. Ah, poop. It's like it's fine. We'll get it, we'll get it next time. No, I won't. Apparently I'm not as good at doing that trick as I thought I was. Unless... Wow, I'm just... I am not on my game today doing that. I I did it once before, like... Like, our first time through the level, so it's fine. A nice blue gem for me. Do that dance. It's like you can skip it, but uh, I, I sometimes I need a little a little joy in my day. Yes. Also correct. It's, it's fine, you know, like, he's still a bit of a prick. It's like, yes, I do agree. It's like, how cool must, uh, like, this have been to discover for the first time, though? Gathering crick! Like he gets he gets cut off, but oh sorry. Like maybe I should like turn that down a little? Should turn the gain down. It's like a little bit. So so I'm like not Peaking. Yeah, like Crash Bandicoot was just like just one of those games. It's like as a kid, it's like I guess it's like it's like anything you see as a kid. So you're just like my my gosh, that was so life changing. Like, a lot more wonder and joy that goes into these, this era of, of video games, I guess. So, Nitro Box, brand new to this game. Like, 
what was the heck is that for? Or is it just there? Like, I'll figure it out. And ice. And you, when you crouch, you also can't move. You can't uh, crawl on it, so you know, they like prevent you from doing that. It's pretty. I think that's pretty clever. to do like any crazy maneuvers and just slide over the nitro whoa it's like that it's like I kind of froze myself a little bit it's like that would have been bad this is this also like isn't a mirror it's like you can you can almost see like, as I'm running towards this wall, you can, like, almost... You can almost see, like, his ears or whatever, like, coming through this... Coming through. It's like a separate model that's, like, loaded in for that. It's like, it's probably not that mirror, but... It's like a better area for it. Yeah, you're... I think if you saved that seal, actually, it's like you'll be able to actually jump up and get that, right? That would that would have been terrible. I know in the remake they actually like put it up higher to prevent you from like getting it early. It's like right there. It's like, ah, oh, I want that. It's like seeing stuff like that immediately. You're just like, ah, oh, I want it. No, it's like a later level they hide a box that's like directly above some other boxes. Like, I'm glad that they put in a box count now, but it's just not like a grand total unless you see it at the very end of the level. Yeah, let's use this to our advantage. That's a tricky one. It's like, see, see where I'm jumping? You see, like, right on top of the screen that there's, like, a metal box. It was a checkpoint box. A checkpoint box? I meant exclamation mark box. Excuse me. The heck? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I thought I glitched out my my HUD for a second. A little weird. Yay. Let's go to Hang 8. Actually took a while. Like there, there, like be nothing wrong with my disc. It's like I'm pretty sure it isn't. It's like it runs fairly nicely. I 
I don't I don't think I run into a death route until like the second floor, right? It's like you actually come here. Hey, did I get him? I think I did. It's like I spun that freaking fish into the into the Aku Aku box. And that ac it actually screwed me over. It's like that is that's like the first time I've seen that. It's like I I guess I should have expected it, like if it gives you an animation like that where he just like jumps up. Like once once Crash gets that. It's like a damn, I didn't know. I got some uh, treetops levels, kind of like a uh, little reminiscent of Crash 1 a little bit. It's like all the, all the detail looks... It's like very, very bright colors and stuff. It's like a very colorful, very bright game. It's like so, some games are like afraid to do that now. To jump on the hippos. It's like the only game that can like teach kids. It's like you hippo those hippos might look cute in the cartoons and telus commercials, but they're they can be dangerous. It's like we're already up to like twenty extra lives, damn. Damn. That takes care of that. The, yeah, those two flowers, those are like the two famous, like, you know, not piranha plants. It's like that spot in particular, pe people were like, used to wonder, oh, can you go back there and, like, hack the game and it turns out there's, like, nothing back there. It's, like, purely for show. Holy crap. It's like, I thought those ones were gonna move. Sweetness. That's a clear gem for me. Actually, gonna go back in that level with like those, these weird like river levels. Actually, do have like a timed gem on them, or like a speed run gem. What do you gotta say now? Alright then. Alrighty then. Well, in the meantime, I'm gonna go get this extra gem here. So this one, I think... It fucked me over again! 
damn it, I hate that. Okay, note to self. It's like, have two Aku Aku masks coming in in future playthroughs. Don't spin the fish. Also, don't hesitate like that. It's like, I knew I could have cleared that. Why the hell am I doing that? I don't know why I spun the checkpoint. It's like I could, I could die. I could die on this. So we get a timer that appears. It like shows up like when you're, when you get to like that certain point. It's like yeah, don't, don't think it's starting from there because like, I think. I should be able to do it in 30 seconds anyway, but it's like when the level starts, like the timer starts. Yeah, like this was nothing. So I cleared that no problem. No problem. Alright. So now we get another level, the pits. I think it was another foresty level, right? Yeah, just telling by the music. Oh, look, it's totally Mario. Ha, mushroom. Ha, ha. So we got two branching pathways here now. See, I'm gonna save that checkpoint actually. Alright, well, I, I guess I could take care of him like that then. Right, I have to... Well, I'm going back that way anyway. Alright, it's time to... Yeah, I gotta be a little more careful now. It's like... Greatest enemy in... Crash Bandicoot going backwards towards the camera. I'll just kill those guys because I feel like it. There, this box activates those outlined boxes. I just like maybe I shouldn't go back and like kill those vultures there might be like one more it's like the bigger I guess a bigger kick in the nuts would, would have just been like oh well see what happens when I'm not careful yes It's like, you just come into my level and you don't, like, attempt to fight me? It's like, yeah, let's just, let's just leave this one armadillo alone. See, 
I knew he was coming that time. Leave him to go, like, walk back and forth for an eternity. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot you could, like, do this. If I go faster doing that, actually. There, we'll, we'll leave the armadillo on like the left side and the vulture on this side. We'll leave him too. It's like, did he really just like skip us? Fuck, get out of the pit. Jesus. I don't know why I can't like pull the trick off tonight. Weird. Yeah, it's like, I know I don't have to like go back and check them, but it's like that crash one paranoia coming back. Whereas reinforced boxes, that's got a body slam. This one gives you a lot of extra lives. Noise. Let me do it! God damn it! It's like I know I know I can do it. No, you know what? Just to prove some to prove something. Yeah. It's like uh, uh no, fuck you. Dude. Oh my god, what is wrong with me tonight? This f fucking thing. Oh, uh, look. Look. I'm just pr trying to pr There, fuck you. I can do it. <laughs> and get killed by a turtle. Terrific. so good at it. There. That's all I, that's all you have to do. I can do it. There, that's all I, that's all I gotta do. So I just need to, like, not hold the friggin' controller like a gorilla. There. I can see I can do it. It's like, what is- I never understood that slang. I know it's like some kind of 90s, like, 90s, like, schoolyard slang. The pits. I never understood it. I don't know what it means. Oh, it's probably better that way. It's like... Goodbye to friggin' 90s slang words. Actually, actually no, on second thought, can we bring those back actually? Because it's like way less stupid than what we have now.
Now we got our first boulder level. I like that when you're running in this one. They didn't even do that in the in Ensane. They did. They did, like don't make. Yeah, they don't do that either. I don't think. It's like how hard was that to do? It's like it's such so lazy. It's like, but whatever. It like doesn't. It doesn't like break the game or anything. I'm not saying the insane trilogy is bad, but it's just like it would have just been nice. It's like have Crash just look back at the boulder and fucking die. And like, would have been nice if they like reanimated it. Just have him, like, dive into the safe point at the last second, like he does in this. It's like, when I play a Crash 4, it's like, I better... I better see that. If, if they don't do it, it's fine, though. It seems like for that game, they're just, like, going all out. But you, you know the, just the weirdest thing to me, it's like the demo came out today for It's About Time. And just as I'm, as I'm waiting for like these to like gradually weaken. That should take care of that. It's like I know I know it's an Activision thing, but the way the way they advertised it just looked like understandable enough. Fuck fuck you. I I guess there's just like a slight delay on it. It's like, haha, ha, blame the controller. Oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room to pull this off. Made it! There's just the demo. The demo for "It's About Time" came out, and it's just so weird that they. It's like pre pre order and get the demo now. You know, before today. And it's like the demo available September sixteenth, and it's like I went to download it, nowhere to be seen on the page. Sounds fun. Time for a boss. It's Ripper Roo. So like now now it's like been one year he's he's like gone to like do some studies, you know, go get learnt, get his brain turned, right? Except like, so, something, something as 
excitable to him as, like, causing explosions, like, sets him off, though. It's like he's kind of just got, like, a Jekyll and Hyde motif going on. There's, there's something more fun about, like, him being, like, a... Like, his laugh just being, like, a sound effect from the Lion King, I think it was. There's just something more fun about that. He just, he just sounds crazy. Crazier than the... voice actor he has. For, like, for... Like, the remakes and... Crash Team Racing. I don't know, there was just some more fun about it. Snow World. He is quite a fu funny, funny lad, isn't he? The planets will align shortly, all for Tia, and this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the Earth. Dad, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time. Those crystals can probably better retain. Uh, the internet connection down here. That's a that's a real reason we're getting all these. Is we need to. Let's actually go ahead and save. We have to increase the internet connection with the crystals. All right. We got snow biz, we got air crash, Barrett, with the polar with the polar bear. Crash's new polar bear friend. If we jump on him like enough times, gives a whole bunch of extra lives. How generous. Just some fun he can do. See, he's fine. But yeah, to... Like, to lock the new demo, like, behind a paywall, it's like... Maybe, like, be a little more specific when you say that. So you're like, pre-order the digital deluxe version and all this shit to, to play it now. It's like, that, okay. It, it's just worded so weirdly. Aw, oh, screw you. Like, fine then, I'll just... There. It's like, oh yeah. There, you can... Just, like, past Aku Aku, you can just slightly see him coming out of the wall a little bit. It's like, I'm the real Crash. They're like, that. that's what I want to be able to do with those stupid 
porcupine hedgehog motherfuckers. Bro, I don't... I think I can afford to die like once or twice in this. I don't... I don't think there's a death route in here. Might be thinking of like a later level or something. So I'm, I'm seeing if he comes through on that side, and I should probably stop dicking around like that. Yeah, get the fruit. like right here right no it might it might even be a different level I'm thinking there, that one I just kind of take my time with. Actually, a better question. Can I even get the box gem in this level? It's like 63 doesn't seem like it. Yeah, no. 124. Yeah, so. I was really worrying about nothing. Crystal for that. Oh, air crash. I think I can get a secret in here. And then they like to throw plants and stuff at you. Let's wait for it to run out first. Well, what the f- Okay, I understood... Like... You know what then? Okay, fine. I guess we're doing this now. We'll do the secret later. What? What is going on with my controller. Oh good. That's also terrific. Is it my controller going to calm down now? I think it's okay now. It's like I swear I was not pushing like anything when I walked onto the jet board that one time. Yeah, look at look at this. You don't you don't even need these. It's like see. Can get along just fine without your stinking crate puzzles. And, ok, 
Okay. Like stuff like that would kind of worries me a little bit. Sometimes I'm not good at estimating the depth perception in these. There, I thought there was a death root here. I was like, did I die? It's like, I don't, I don't know if I did or not. It's like, I must have at the beginning. It's like the thing that was happening to me with Crash 1. Like, I don't know. That's a trick to that. It's like I kept exiting the level, like, before hitting a checkpoint, because that's what I thought you had to do. It's like, not only until after you hit a checkpoint does it, like, it not count for getting, like, the gem or whatever. I don't know. Kill enough to kill myself, so... I can go back. Thirty-three. So that's yeah, that's that's all done. That's well, that that's fine because we already have the gem. So, like unlike uh, Crash One, you get to keep your stuff. Like sometimes you gotta trust the the analog too. There, the explosion kills that motherfucker. I remember this though. Love doing that. That's also another one I have to come back to. Damn it. Whatever, it's okay. Let's actually let's go back now and get that secret, why don't we? sure like nothing like freaks out on me okay let's not do this bam it's like how the hell are you supposed to figure that out when you're a kid or like how's any first time player supposed to figure that out for that matter So, in the remake, they just, like, put this, like, underneath the first warp room, but now... Now... Or, like, or, like, here, 
back in the good old days, uh, you know, this, like, you have to, like, get a secret in order to get here. Or maybe you can't do that. Not sure. Like, is this, is this supposed to be, like, a ruined castle structure? It kind of looks like because you got, like, the neocortex banners here. You got the... You can see all, like, the Wumpa Islands from the first game here. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if these were, like, reused assets or something. But anyways, we've unlocked an alternate path in Snowgo, so that's where we're going. Things are about to get tougher. Once you hear this music. Right, I wanted to do the mirror trick again. I want to do the mirror trick. It's like, just let me have fun with my game. Oh, never, never mind. I can't, I can't even walk that far. This. There we go. Yeah. Feel good about myself for doing that. It's like this one isn't as bad. It's like Cold Heart Crash is like famous amongst Crash fans, I think, for being, like, the most, like, difficult level in Crash 2. Oh, but now we can, like, disregard all danger because we have Aku Aku with us. We get some invincibility time. Get the red gem, okay. Because we did, like, everything here, I'm just gonna, like, get this over with as fast as I can. If that does make you go faster or not, it feels like it. Just felt good to do. I got a nice old red gem, and I think that's everything down here. Yeah. That deserves a save. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, you can't. There's nothing, like, down there. In, in the original, but in the remake, I know you can go down there. Was there... Was it in this one? Yeah, there's like a red gem path here now. And it's like required to get the clear gem. Oh, 
whoopsie. It's like, I, I guess I could have kept walking. It's like, you know, it's... When, where was, like, the first... Like... It's like, where are the first couple boxes? What did you just run into? It's like, gosh. I also can't... I can't perform, like, certain tricks I want to perform, like, good. Get the fuck out of here. Here we go. It's like, I wonder what, what's, like, beyond those two, like, weird snowy crystals right there. Start earning some lives back. Just collecting food anyway. Ah, oh, that's too bad. There's like nothing like above this, is there? It's like look looks like you can like get up there. They'd be pretty sneaky if they were to do that. I'm pretty sure there's like nothing there though. Good. Good for me. It's fine though, we're getting like a bunch of fruit. It's like, fuck that, it just doesn't work sometimes, I guess. should just be like a little more careful I gotta pay like more attention well it's weird there's like a weird thing I got stuck on there it's also like what a waste of an extra life spinning like lump of fruit and shit away from here but you know it's got to be done sometimes it's just got to be done it here. There. 
And I think it just takes you back. I am pretty sure. Yes. Yes, it does. It's like the platform's right there in case, like, I did miss anything, like, for any reason, though. Yeah, we're all good, we're all good. They're a relief to be hitting that checkpoint. Yeah, it's still like a little hard, but it's like not like batshit insane hard, like cold hard crashes. I will get to that soon. Oh boy. It's like you better believe I'm like taking a couple masks with me into that. Holy crap. All right, yeah, 124. I remembered. Okay, so that takes care of that one. It's like, do I need to... No, I, no, I think there's a, like, other alternate route you gotta go into for that one. So you just got these three left here. Let's do the, let's do Barret, do the Polar Bear level. So if you remember the, the if you remember the warhog levels, well, here's the same thing except controls much nicer. Except you gotta die here and there if you want like 100% boxes. Sometimes, like, the ice physics will just work against you like that. You gotta line yourself up just right for that one. That was the first of its kind, so... That won't be that hard to pull off. lined up like this. Man, fuck me. There 
Alright, this time I'm going to do it. Yeah, there we go. That's what's supposed to happen. It's like for these levels, like the... There are things, like, up ahead. Kind of like these TNTs and stuff. And the orcas that just, like, remain stationary until you reach them. And I got confused. I might be... It's like, sometimes I wonder if I'm, like, a little colorblind. It's like, yes... Yeah, so like, orange is in, like, the same, like, family of colors as red, but it's, like, I almost confused, like, a striped Wumpa box for a TNT box. Oh, this one's difficult. Fuck you. Okay. Attempt number two. Yeah, it's like you gotta be like pixel perfect, gotta be touching like the edges of those things. And they're like not the smoothest run, but I think I think we got it. Yes, we did. We're good. We're gravy. You can dance. Yeah. Yeah, I think that one deserves a save, too. It's, like, it's a good thing I'm remembering like to save regularly. Not letting the insane trilogy spoil... Well, sp spoil me. I'm gonna have a break for a little bit. Just, like, stand up, get some water and stuff. And... Put on some tunes here, and I'll be back in a bit. So, I'll be back with more Crash 2 in a little bit. And I am back. I'm just gonna very carefully remove that. And play back my TV, and see. We're going to continue on with this. Time for some more Crash 2. And like all the stuff is like burned into my screen now, thankfully. It doesn't appear to be on... That doesn't appear to be the case on Capture, but... <laughs> it's like, I wonder if there's a setting for that. Oh well. Oh man, that's gonna bug me so much. Uh, I'll... I'll manage. It's like, all that, all that stuff from the title screen has been like, burned into, like, the image on my TV. get some interesting hazards thrown our way for a boulder chase level.
interesting pathways like this. It's like that's a that's a pretty tricky, like sliding jump you gotta do there. Oh no, what the hell? For these, I just kind of wish the camera was just pulled out, like, a tad bit more. Uh, that was my fault. Shit, I keep, like, bumping into those. Oh, pfft. What was that? It's like, that's, yeah, that's supposed to, like, make me do that. Like, not shove me to the side. I'm just saying, it'd be cool if there was, like, a background where you just saw the boulder just land somewhere. But this is pretty cool, too. It's like a nice... It's a nice waterfall right there. It's a nice PlayStation 1 waterfall. A nice, that's a nice bonus level. I actually really enjoyed that one. Only the lump of fruits like making chirps now. There's it's like counting so many. Ah, shit. Where you... Okay, go, 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 go. Go, Crash, go. There, love when he does like the like roll and dive animation right there. Uh, the eel deal. We'll probably do some of level three, or or prim three rather. So here's the sewer level. It's like this is one of the things in the adverts they were obsessed with. You can see the little trail of water right behind you. Like, whoa, the next generation. Oh, yeah, crap. Now watch for these electric eels. And you can't kill them either, so... It makes it a little extra challenging. This makes the levels a little more dangerous. Like, if I go, like, back here, or no, never mind, it's like, but yeah, it's like that one right there, it's like, you see how some enemies will, like, stay stationary, see, I think that way, I think you might want to go that way. 
Yeah, because you come to this room and you're like... This whole bunch of nitro looks kind of suspicious. Or you think nothing of it and move on, but... I don't know. The curious mind probably wonders... Like, why there's just a whole box of nitro with just one Wumpa crate inside of it. Whoa. I, I totally jumped on that one. Are you kidding? I will take a death here because it's easier than just walking back. Got a nice little green Jolly Rancher gem right there. I can't forget this. But thankfully, I earned enough fruit to earn back an extra life. Another nice bonus round. Sounds very short and sweet right there. few of them are. So I guess, I guess that's like one instance, like the crystal is like super easy to miss. So you might not even come back here at all. Might just not go down that path. Ah, crap. It's like sometimes you think you land on the enemy, but like other times you just don't. Collecting the fruit, collecting the fruit. Now we got like these weird little guys that like to just hang out on the... On these grids, or whatever you call them. I guess you'd call them catwalks. some like floating ones here they always look like they're just silently judging you everything collected hallelujah deserves a dance. Alright, what's Cortex got to say to us now? I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between wolves. Yeah, that's good. We'll do a quick save, actually. It's like, I know I just saved, like, before break. What the fuck? I should save more often, because then I get to look at, like, the weird faces like that. 
Never knew about that one. Going up. So our next boss here, I believe, is the Komodo Brothers. So they're easy enough. It's just pretty self-explanatory what you gotta do. It's like, I don't even have to, like, run. I can just, like, walk around like this. Oh, but that time I have to. Right. Don't actually get too close. It's like when he does this, I can just walk to get far enough. And now he's gonna like start throwing throwing his swords at me. Like, even though I forget, like, he kind of swats at you sometimes, still got through it. You know, they're just sitting on their asses like clowns. <laughs> Calling me again, like, this quickly. Alrighty then. Do another save, why not? It's like, I know I didn't really need to save, but it's just... It's like, I could, I could just be, like, turning the game off, like, any time I want, but, you know... Better safe than sorry, I guess. So we got plant food... Doesn't that say sewer or later, I think? Bear down. Road to ruin. And unbearable. Let's do plant food. So I think we can get a secret or two out of this warp room here. Well, that is not very... It's not very something. It was just a bad move on my part, we'll just say. Thankfully, haven't hit any checkpoints yet. Or wait, yeah, I. Yeah, let's just do this. This one's pretty hard anyway. Or or we or we cannot. I need to stop doing this. It's like, I don't, I forget if there's like a death route in this. Oh, 
god. It's like, oh, we're getting, oh, it's a bit of lag there, I guess, due to some of the boxes and shite. It doesn't matter, let's just keep going. It's like, thank god they, like, gives you a couple masks here. Yeah, it's like, then that might happen. You're gonna get your ass bit. It's like, yeah, a couple... A couple spots where it's like you have no choice. It's like, yeah, that one's a little tricky to get. But now we have the yellow gem, at least. And then, I forget if you have to come back to this level at all. I don't think you do. I think this is pretty fairly okay, like, clear gem to get here. We don't even have to worry about the crystal, because we got that, like, along the way. Damn it! It's okay, though. I can die as many times as I want. like one of the more dangerous river levels here though. Boing. But before going to that bonus, I think you have to wait for that one to blow up. When I let's played this like back in 2015 or something, it's like I got a little upset because you know there were just like some TNTs I forgot to activate, but it's like I just I wasn't paying attention all that well. up alongside here. Check it all out. Oops. That's alright. There, easy peasy. I think that's the last river level, though. Could be wrong. Or the last one for a while? No, it's probably the last one. Okay. So let's do, let's do a couple easy ones. I say easy, but like, this is when, like, things get a little bit tougher. Or yeah, or yeah, this is like the more, oh wow, that's actually nice attention to detail. It's blowing bubbles! Except you can't crawl. It's 
Like, does Crash just not know how to hold his breath? <laughs> Can you die doing this? Uh, I guess not, but that is nice attention to detail. It's like, so much, like, went into this game, like, more than you ever realize. It's like, Naughty Dog really packed, like, a lot of personality into this game. Oh, shit. Alright, I need, need the yellow gem to unlock this. Terrible. And these these guys are like perpetually shocking the floor there. Like we don't even have to do the rest of this if we don't want. I I'm I feel like I probably should show off the rest. Or you know, never mind. Probably stupid anyway. Probably just an end of level exit. What? It respawns? It respawns? Cheeky bastards. Are you f serious? Like, maybe I should have taken a longer break than I did. Uh, it's fine, though. It's like, I have, like, the lives to spare, so... when it's, like, nitro boxes, like, bouncing up and down like that. I think it screws you over, like, a lot less in the original, though. So you just... gotta watch the bounce. Spin a couple of scrubbing bubbles, guys, into this. Make the fan disappear. Blade by blade till there are no more blades. God damn it. Probably get by with just like one or two. Nope. <laughs> it's like you just gotta do it. Like, it's probably possible, but, you know. Oh, well, I, I wanted to spin them into the things. All right, so this is just the exit there. Okay. 
It's like, I remember... I remember a lot of things about Crash 2 because I've 100%ed it, like, a lot. I don't know, it's not, sometimes my mind can be a little fuzzy. There. I'm gonna activate those first and then come to this room here. I do think. It's like, what's what's even the purpose of those flamethrower scientists? Actually. It's like Cortex is just like, yeah, I need you to go down. I need you to go down into the sewers. He's just like, okay, and do what? It's like, you, you'll get a flamethrower. Sounds cool. And he, he's just hanging there like an idiot. It's like the easiest enemy to avoid. Just killing it with collection, though. Oh. It's Coco. I hacked into his computer and found lots and lots of weird things. Don't ever look in that. Let's see. I'll do one more level and then probably switch games. Bear Down. I think this is one of the it's one of the more fun ones, actually. Still a little difficult, but... It's a little more fun, because... You get to use the dash. Where it's like, you don't, you don't really gotta use it, but... You are... Encouraged to, be, to use it. It's like... Uh, except for, like, crap like that. Dr. Cortex, what are we supposed to do all day? I need you to go to the Arctic and just lift boxes in front of whales all day. Are, are you fucking serious? Don't question me. You get your asses over to the Arctic and lift those damn boxes. Like this. We got the worst job ever. And I wonder if they're having, like, any better luck in the sewers. It's like, Dr. Cort Dr. Cortex, this job sucks. Excuse me, blow that up, please. Thanks. It's like, we're just, we're just, like, lifting boxes all the, like, from, like, morning till sunset. There's one of the secrets. Okay. We've unlocked... So yeah, that's the one we got last time. So we unlocked an alternate path in Air Crash. 
So let's go. Let's go to it. Those extra lives are a trap. It's like, unless you are, like, good enough to get them, but I am not feeling like it. Oh, hey, that whirlpool is, like, sucking me back. And you're just like, Okay. Like all that just for like an extra couple of couple of crates. Just like get this out of the way and we'll change games from here. Alright, see I don't need no stinking rising water platform, are you kidding me? should probably like it probably doesn't count but you know better safe than sorry I guess death path. I don't think there was. No, there's like only the gem and stuff. So I think we're good. Ah, crap. Did I? Yeah, I've fucked that up. Uh, except I can do this. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Nice little trick right there. There. Another clear gem for me. It's all done. So we'll do a save. I'll have like another short break, and then we'll switch to something else. Like, let's check this out, though. Yeah, that's like. Yeah, we're all clear down here. So I'll switch right over to this. I'll put the music back. And stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> 